Hi, it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm here in the studio in Dubai with Ulrich Ulrichs, CEO of BBC Chartering. Welcome. Thank you. So nice to see you here. Um, we had an interesting panel discussion uh, on IMO, what we now know. So give us just a summary of BBC Chartering's um, position, what you decided to do um, in the face of the new sulfur regulations that came into effect beginning of the year. Yeah, so 2020 has arrived, uh, not, not a big surprise, so uh, finally we're there. So, um, yeah, we uh, looked at these uh, regulations coming into force uh, for some time. Uh, we uh, decided uh, uh, not to uh, go for scrubbers uh, because uh, of uh, our ships uh, trading worldwide, uh, too many unknown factors on price, uh, price differential, uh, availability and so on. Uh, so, um, so we prepared for a transition from high sulfur to low sulfur. Um, a lot of stress on the organization as far as planning is concerned, working uh, awareness in all departments, uh, awareness uh, with regards to our clients, uh, with regards to the vessel owners. Uh, of the 160 ships we operate today, about half of them are chartered in from third-party owners. So we had to make sure also uh, they have a plan to be compliant on the 1st of January uh, and we had to drive that process. So we had a dedicated team in, in Lea in our head office uh, to look after this. Uh, so, and due to the effort uh, and, and really attention of uh, the whole organization, I think the uh, process went uh, relatively smoothly. Um, so we, we started basically uh, already October, November last year to convert uh, to low sulfur one by one. Uh, we observed the tank cleanings, uh, also the bunker availability, these kind of things. Um, so finally the switch uh, was done. We had only very little uh, leftover volumes on the first of January which we had to dispose of of course so that went I think uh, reasonably well uh, as far as supply is concerned also availability of low sulfur fuel was okay we didn't miss any stems because of non availability of course backup always gas oil uh, that's uh, also an alternative which we had to use in some places uh, the quality of the products also we had some concern is relatively smooth it's uh, not quite uh, let's say the final verdict is not there yet but uh, we had only a very uh, few issues, maybe a handful, where we had off-specs discussions uh, with the supplier, uh, but overall they went okay. Also the other specifications, we had a couple of cases where uh, we had some doubts about the quality of fuel as such, um, but whether this is sulfur related or not is still, let's say, under discussion. So that went relatively smooth. Um, the um, of course, big impact is the cost uh, uh, for we expected differential of about uh, $200 on average uh, worldwide between high sulfur and low sulfur, $200 a ton. Uh, that of course uh, went really up and down uh, at the beginning uh, or even late last year. That in some places was $300, $350 more expensive. In some places you couldn't even get high sulfur fuel anymore. So they switched to complete only low sulfur. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, uncertainty and changes and um, now we have to see uh, things have smoothened a little bit as far as supply is concerned also the pricing so our main concern now is uh, of course a to pass on uh, these costs we have incurred uh, I still think we need more awareness in the industry it's also our fault that we didn't get the message through to all people so uh, and the the our clients and their clients behind have to uh, compensate carriers for these extra costs uh, but of course um, uh, now the overall state of the economy worldwide is uh, a bigger concern let's say than that so with the latest developments around uh, anyhow a very usually subdued market uh, in the first quarter with uh, Chinese New Year and uh, so on, uh, carnival season in uh, South America. So, And now with the coronavirus virus, of course a big concern because that will have a big impact on trade. And once that is done, I think then we'll see the true picture of uh, low sulfur uh, supply and demand and also the, the, the price differential. So maybe into 2021, are you thinking? 
yeah, I was hoping second half of this year it starts to smoothen out, but now due to the virus we have to see really when will things go back to normal. But uh, I think it's about six months after things go back to normal that uh, as far as trade is concerned and uh, without any other further political issues <laughs> which we have around the world, uh, then uh, I think uh, within six months it should be uh, s relatively smooth then. Well, thank you so much for giving us that detailed picture. Thank you very much. Thank Great you. To have you.